another day, another Nokia. Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So, I got my filthy paws on another Nokia N93, to which I asked in the community what would you like, a video or a live? And uh, the most votes are with video, so here's the video. So, fully functional. Unfortunately, I do not have a new hinge like I did with the other one, but uh, how would it be to do vlogs with this thing? But uh, I will select from uh, the other two N93s that I have the best of three hinges and hope for the best. <laughs> and on this one, I also have the small camera cover. Which is a very nice thing, and the lens have far less scratches than the other one, since I don't have this. Again, I don't have a complete body shell on one color, so I have to combine gray and black again. Well, let's see how it will turn on. <laughs> so, let's begin. So, here's this uh, phone. This uh, beautiful phone. Well, the opinions are different some people don't like this but i'm the one of the people that like this model one hundred and twenty five talk towers so it's a winner not that type of winner so let's begin switch off is it off is it off So it has a memory card in it. Well, once you could see what's writing in it, but it's a mini SD integral, I think is the make, and it's a 2 gigabytes card. Now, oh, I forgot to take out this uh, cap, which I will reuse. Okay, it is fell off out of it. There we go. Will it slide off if I push hard? Yes, it does. And that's how you detach it from the from this little stainless steel mount. Okay, now here comes the tricky part because this main board is very sensitive. Oh my god. Thank god. <laughs> one. That's one. Here we have the main board, which is completely covered with Let's not forget to push the clamps back. So we see here a lot of Samsung processors, well I mean they always made processors so yeah. <laughs> well that's enough of the main board for now. This hinge is very wobbly, the more reasons for me to change it. Now let me take out the charging port. Now it's about time I take the camera module out. Look at all this dust. <laughs> Being extra careful here. One. Two. 
Watch that holds it in place. Here's the camera module. And this should be just the rubber cover that should that they should be able to take out easy. And completely disassembling this phone. And I'm also taking my time. Because I think you can already see that this phone is a pretty complex one. All that's left is this little uh, main board that's attached to the camera. There we go. Cute little main board. And uh, big camera module. Peekaboo. With this all plastic body shell should come off. We have this clamp here. And of course it has adhesive here. So it does need a bit of help. Oh, here's the flash module. Do remember that I have to take out these things. See here. There we go. This little plastic thingy. This plastic housing should just come off. Yeah, something like that. it has adhesive here and here now I'm not going to reuse these uh, selector buttons but I think I am going to reuse uh, some of the chrome parts and I don't know if these buttons but these buttons I am definitely going to reuse because I don't have them I'm also going to take this rubber stopper on which the this part rests so I'm going to reuse this the other problem to which you must be careful with is that the power button it's glued here oh my god it just wants to snap right we, we are able to unstick it Well, I am going to stick it back <laughs> because this is the frame that's going to be mounted on. You get the idea. The metal guard from the flash module fell. Come on, you get out. There you go. And this is the metal guard over the flash which is in one piece with the whole buttons then you have these two screws and this should just come off easy as that this is made of metal this is the frame I'm gonna need to reuse it because well that's that has nothing to do with the body shell <laughs> This little plastic cover, did it snap? I think it snapped, I, oh, I don't know. Just have to be thorough with the clamps, there we go, fine. And this is the little spring from the record button. This one, which I'm going to change anyway. <laughs> this button as well, to detach the zoom button 
See, just rotated to the right, and it falls by itself. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this part. I will look to the other phones and see if this one is in better condition. And if it is in better condition, I'm going to take this one. More than half of the phone is done. It's made of metal. That's why it's dented here. And here, it got hit. If it were plastic, maybe just the paint would have got damaged and that would be it. But Okay. All right. Here we have the tiny display, which has this little clamp here. You can just do it like this. And here we have the display. can disconnect this, which I'm guessing is the camera module, yes. This is from the cables. I'm keeping that for last. Yeah, it has adhesive, so be careful with this thing, especially to the flex cables. Come on. What more do you want from me, man? <laughs> Get off of here. Easy, it has bugs. There you go. That was a nightmare, but it's off. The camera is also adhesive here. Yeah. But I'm taking it out anyway. Apparently so. But removable. From the resonator box. I'm checking the cable to make sure I, didn't, I haven't snapped it. And I don't think I did. Because now it's a bit of room. Take out the flex cable. You know why it's called a flex cable? because it's flexing. There you go. Here is the front part. And the display just falls by itself. Nice. Here is the other flex cable. Which, oh my god, I'm going to take this one out. Just have to unstick the whole flex cable thing. Ha! Got it out. And this thing that comes with the new body shell, but either way, it's out. Oh wait, you remember it also has this thing. This little sensor here. That's for the position of the hinge. And it's out. But is it in one piece? That's my question. It's hard to bend but not impossible. So this is a very fine circuit board. <laughs> Now I'm just gonna take out the earpiece. Also take this thing back. There you have it. Come on, get off. And this should be the last two screws. Right? Technically, I may not even need to disassemble this since I may not be keeping the I won't be keeping this and the hinge, so yeah. <laughs> there we go. Comes out in this position. Empty as it can be, like my soul. And here we have the dusty hinge mechanism. Let me check this out. Oh. Okay, this is pretty bad. Now, let me check these other ones. I 
that I that I was keeping four parts. Oh. Well, technically, it's not that much of a bigger deal if it moves. It, it's impossible for it to not get uh, damaged eventually and start moving. Oh. So I think I'll use the one from uh, the first one that I refurbished. Also, here's the shutter button and the zoom one. I know I kept it in good condition, so it should be usable. Look how many cables it has. Oh, I'm a G. Right, so I'll get to cleaning that whole mess and uh, be right back. Don't go nowhere. I'm not going to begin to complain of how tired I am and how many hours it took me to clean all this too. Yeah. Not to mention that I did a big mistake with this thing. I tried to take the glue out of it. And uh, well, this happened. Yeah. So, be careful with yours, just leave this glue here, it's better like this. I was lucky enough to have another two phones. And then came this one. It has a little circuit or something over it here, and it snapped over, out of my keyboard. So I took this keyboard from another phone again. <laughs> uh, I also take this from another phone because it's in better shape now, this is uh, excusable. Now for the display, this is the phone's display, which is very scratched up. I'm not going to use it. Then I have from the other phone a display that is also very scratched up and I'm not going to use it. And then I found in my um, toy box a display from an N73, which is the same with the display of the N93 and the N71. And. Uh, Look how it looks. So, this is the winner. Right. It's about time I use a gray inside. Well, even outside, I don't have, like I said, the full color set. You know, this is original when you have the adhesives already here and the earpiece. It's already pre installed. You just have to put everything here, and that's that. So, let me just begin with that. Right, so, we just need to put this here, let me, let me look through the part, I know I need this part. Wait, did it have adhesive here? I don't remember. Uh, no, it does not. Yeah. I just need to put this thing here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> the button is not in its place. It has a position here where you should put the button. There we go. See this little tiny micro contactor? That's how it knows where you rotate it. Come on. Right. I'm gonna put the cables in their place. I just need to put this thing in its place here so I don't forget it like last time. Alright. Okay. To look at this new display. And now to put this in this place, just slide it down like this, and then firmly press it.
don't worry if it looks like this here in the middle if you're doing your own phone like this it will straighten up shortly now let me just take the camera before I get it dirty there and that would be a hassle to clean there we go now I have here le speaker le shell put them here together and this little magnet that needs to be mounted here I don't know if I have to glue it but it will stay in place once I put it there anything else for me to put? no not yet Good. just put this tiny cute display here I'm gonna put a gray one on this one since I already have a black one and the gray one on the other one so let me just take it out of here eh? come on bro get out there we go Uh, tell me this how the heck did a dust particle wind up here I mean this thing is new come on mm-hmm okay good enough All right then. <laughs> Just put this in like so. Would you look at that? It also pulled the front part better down. Yeah. Okay. This is the top part. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here we have some new parts. This will stay here for now. That is. Did you look at this beautiful shiny chrome button? These need to be here in place. Right. No. I should just press it a bit more. Huh? Yeah. Okay, there we have it. nice I'll start assembling as much as these small parts as I can I took this off camera because I forgot so we'll just pull it out a bit and that's it it comes all by itself so this needs to get here Okay, it's in position.
So that thing just snapped, but it will stay in place once it's assembled. I put it here so that no more dust will get in it. Because dust is so annoying. New buttons, well, and the top chrome part found it new. Well, found it, I have it for some time now, but. I'm just gonna put this here to stay in place. Nice. And also these buttons. Not forget to take the adhesive part off. This is just the part I also disassembled off camera because I forgot about it. Sorry. This is just how you take it out. You simply push them all the way in. And that would be it. There we go. And this just be pushed in its place in the clamps. And that's it. This is how it works. Simple as that. Now let me cover all of this. part then to put it back together into a fine sandwich with adhesive come on you. okay now let me put the keyboard in its place through here it was yes there we go finally haha <laughs> good on the mark here Okay, in this place as it should be. Good, 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 good. Just put the main board here to stay in its freaking place. There we go. Mounted the keyboard. Now this, these little cables here.
Mm -hmm. The clamps in its place. Now to connect the camera. Now this just rotates like so, the cables get in their place and this gets here and that's how you mount the camera. Actually pretty simple, they thought of it thoroughly. Alright, now let me just put the SIM and a mini SD card module and to press it in its place now for the back cover How nice it fell in place. Oh, okay, this hinge is better. Oh, this hinge is better than the other one. Good. Alright, that's enough screwing around. Here we have the beautiful phone in one piece again. Well, if I had this middle part grey, it would have been a full grey phone and the hinge part. So let's turn it on. Yeah, boy. Oh, the battery is almost dead. There we go. This is usually for the camera. See, yep. Very nice. I can get back. <laughs> Uh, 
Hello. <laughs> it works. Okay, that's too nostalgic even for me. <laughs> okay, so this is the Nokia N93, the second one, and fully functional in my collection now. Oh my god, how much I wasted time on this. Well, not wasted. It took me a lot of time to disassemble. It took not that much, but to clean it and to put it back together. Ugh. Oh boy. Well, it's finally done. I'm happy most of you told me to make a video, not a live stream, because I would have gone insane. It's... what time it is? It's... It's almost 1 a.m. Here's the phone, now charging. Ha, ah, you're blinded. But, it's working, new body shell, now I'm happy to have another N93 in my collection. Now I need to look for an N93i. <laughs> so, this video editing might take a while. Either way, thank you very much for watching, hope you found it useful and enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, please, it really emotionally helps me a lot. After all I've been through with this phone, well, it's complicated and not so complicated, but if you know what you're doing, it's not complicated, you just have to be extra careful, but if you don't know what you're doing, then don't do it, seriously. I took some crazy risks and forced my hand a little because I knew I had two extra phones for parts and uh, I don't think if you can see them there, well, the their shipwreck that is, and not to mention the display is that their boats crashed and uh, actually all three of them had scratched display. And But I was lucky enough to find three, uh, two of them new in the box. That's why I bought a whole box full of parts, even though I may not have the phones for the parts yet, but it came in handy. Oh, and if you also need a display for your N93, it's the same display as the N73 and the N71. Yeah, sorry for looking depressing, I'm just very, very tired. Again, thank you very much for watching, and uh, please consider subscribing, it helps me a lot. Leave a like. And I wish you a very awesome day, just like yourselves. Bye.